President Obama spent the past two days meeting with leaders from NATO countries trying to convince them to join a coalition to fight the Sunni militant group known as ISIS or ISIL. There's great conviction that we have to act as part of the international community to degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. Uh, and that was extremely encouraging. Secretary of State John Kerry sat down with defense and foreign ministers calling on NATO countries to donate weapons, intelligence, and advisors to defeat ISIS terrorists in the Middle East. Secretary Kerry will now travel to the region to continue building the broad-based coalition that will enable us to degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. NATO leaders also used the summit to approve plans for a rapid response force that could act quickly if an allied country comes under attack. NATO members right across Europe, particularly in Central and Eastern Europe, have been reassured that this is an alliance that will meet its treaty obligations to any member that is under threat. NATO is responding to Russia's move into Ukraine, where there now appears to be a temporary ceasefire with Russian-backed rebels. U.S. and European leaders are skeptical of the agreement and say they are ready to impose more sanctions against Russia if necessary.